Welcome to the second video of the course. In this lesson, we will learn about why we need distance metrics, what a distance metric is exactly, and which types of distance metrics are available. The similarity between MNIST digits can be quantified using a distance metric. A metric is a function that for any given point, the output satisfies the following properties. First, the triangle inequality which means that the distance between two vectors is the shorter distance along any path. Second, the symmetric property. That is, the distance between x and y is the same in either direction. And third, the distance is positive between two different vectors and is zero from a vector to itself. In a two-dimensional space, the Euclidean distance between two points P and Q is the length of the line segment connecting them. In this example, you can see how we compute the Euclidean distance between the points P and Q. Euclidean distance can be also generalized to high-dimensional vectors. You can use the function dist to compute the Euclidean distance matrix between the rows of a data matrix. Let's see how we compute the Euclidean distance of the last six digits in MNIST sample. In the object distances, you can see the computed values. Now, we will plot those values using a heat map with each digit label. The first and third examples of digit 8 are the most similar regarding this metric because the color is darker. But that does not happen for the other digits with label 8. Minkowski provided a generalization for the Euclidean distance. Its name for the Minkowski distance arises from the order P of the general formula that you are seeing here. When P is equal to 1, we call it the Manhattan distance. When P is equal to 2, the Euclidean distance, and when p is equal to infinite, it is known as the Chebyshev distance. In R, we can compute these metrics using the dist function. This code shows how we compute the Minkowski distance of the order 3. The Manhattan distance computes the distance that will be traveled to get from one data point to another if a grid-like path is followed. The kullback lever divergence, or KL divergence, is a measure of how one probability distribution is different from a second one. It is not a strict metric, since it does not satisfy the symmetric and triangle inequality properties. A divergence of zero indicates that the two distributions are identical. It is a common distance metric used to optimize algorithms in machine learning, like in the case of TSNE. In the season trees, for example, it is called information gain. To compute the key L divergence in R, we are going to use the philanthropy packets. First, we load the packets and store the last six MNIST records from MNIST sample without getting the true label. To compute the key L divergence or values, need to sum up to 1. So we are going to normalize the pixel values of each digit. First, we add 1 to all records to avoid getting a not a number while rescaling. Then we get the row sums of each record. Finally, we will compute the key L divergence using the distance function and generate the corresponding heat map. As you can see, we are doing a much better job of finding the similarities between digits. Here, all the positions that correspond to the digit 8 are the most similar ones. Now, it's time to practice with the MNIST dataset and compute some similarity or distance metrics to identify